Forget about having to travel halfway across the world to try delicious cheese blenses. You're going to find out how easy it is to make these special and versatile treats right at home. Let's get rolling. What is up YouTube? Before we get started, I want to clear something up. There's some confusion about crepes and blintzes being the same thing. That is absolutely wrong. A crepe can become a blintz, but a blintz can't become a crepe. Confused? Stick around and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Until then, let's get started. In a small mixing bowl, start by whisking together four eggs. Mixing the eggs in a separate bowl will ensure that you don't have any crunchy eggshells in your blintzes later. In a large bowl combine, one and one third cup or 315 milliliters of milk, four eggs you already whisked earlier, two tablespoons or 28 grams of melted butter. You're gonna whisky whisky until everything's combined. Smaller bowl combine, one cup or 125 grams of all purpose flour, two tablespoons or 25 grams of sugar, half a teaspoon or three grams of salt. Once again, whiskey, whiskey until everything's incorporated. Now you're gonna bring back both the bowls that you just whisked and incorporated. While constantly whisking the liquid mixture, slowly add in the flour mixture. Do this slow enough so you don't get big clumps of flour bowls in your soon to be batter. Once your mixture is smooth and clump free, it's time to move on. So you're gonna get started on the cheese fill combine. 16 ounces or 453 grams of farmer's cheese, two tablespoons or 25 grams of sugar, one teaspoon or four grams of vanilla sugar, one egg yolk, three tablespoons of milk, one teaspoon or four grams of cinnamon. Start mixing. Notice that this recipe makes a good amount of filling. I highly recommend and for goodness sakes, please use a larger bowl than I did. Also, a traditional cheese filled blintz is made with farmer's cheese and you may have to go to a Polish store to buy some. If you don't speak Polish, just go there and say, yes, I am looking for a farmer's cheese. Warning, that is horrible advice. Please do not use any fake accents anywhere in public. Fire up your cooktop to a medium heat and wait for that pan to heat to temperature. Melt enough butter to coat the bottom of the pan, creating a slippery and non-stick surface for your crepes. Wipe off the excess butter. Notice I was a little heavy on the butter and you don't have to use quite as much as I did. Now you are ready to make a crepe. With a ladle, pour the batter onto the pan and swirl the pan to spread the batter evenly. Too much batter, try again. If you're new to making crepes, it usually takes one crepe before you get the portion right. looks a lot better. After swirling the pan enough to coat the bottom of the pan, let the crepe cook for about two minutes. After loosening the edges free from the pan, if your crepe is golden brown on the bottom and cooked on the top, it's time to transfer to another plate. Repeat the process until you have no more batter. After making all of your crepes, it's time to get rolling. If you've ever made soft shell tacos, wontons, burritos, or wraps, you'll be just fine here. Place about two or three tablespoons of filling on the crepe, fold in the sides, and begin to roll. Place the cheese filled crepes off to the side for now. Now we will transform the cheese filled crepes into blintzes. This is because technically a crepe is pan fried once and a blintz is pan fried twice. Hence, a crepe can become a blintz, but a blintz cannot become a crepe. Well, there you have it, folks. Cheese filled blintz is the way that they're supposed to be done, and you didn't have to go overseas to get them. If you like what you see here, please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button. I'm gonna enjoy this right now, but until next time, thank you for checking out Raffle Up's food and we'll see you soon.